Welcome to Wednesday, October 18th, 2023, your day weather podcast brought to you by Cowboy State Daily, Wyoming's only daily newspaper. Subscribe to their daily digital email newsletter by subscribing at CowboyStateDaily.com. Well, we are going to be a little bit cooler, but it's going to be a nice way to end the week. Many areas did see that wind and some high clouds pick up yesterday as this trough and cold front is passing to the north and east. But after a bit of a cooler day today, a little bit of wind early, we are still expecting the weather for the next three days and probably through the weekend to really be quite good, actually. So we're back to fair weather tomorrow through Sunday, and most areas today will be fair. Precipitation chances slim to none. So again, another good opportunity to take advantage of good weather for those fall chores to take care of, whether it's getting those sprinklers put to bed, getting that lawn mowed that one last time. Pattern change is coming next week. We have two systems next week. We have a generally weak system coming in Monday and Tuesday that'll spread some showers into the Pacific Northwest, into Central and Northern California, into the interior West, and areas west of the Divide especially, and it will cool us off. But that first system is really not a major one. It's a bit of a nuisance, but it will produce a little bit of weather. It's the second one behind it that arrives mid to late next week that'll have much colder air with it, much more energy. And that means rain and snow chances mid to late next week go up and it will be much colder. The access to cold air with the second system is certainly there. However, I have to tell you that we have significant model differences. Confidence in the details are really low. So it's far too early to come to any conclusions about mid to late next week other than to tell you it's going to get colder, some rain and snow is coming, but the intensity of the cold, the intensity of the rain and snow, we just don't have yet. The, the models are kind of all over the board, and until we see some better agreement, we can't give you any details. So we'll just tell you to stay tuned. What a shot here from Twin Lakes, Colorado, uh, from Dave. A beautiful shot there. Look at those calm waters and that reflection with the snow on the mountains and some fall color there. Still some great shots coming on in. Speaking of photos, here's a satellite image. A couple of things to point out. Here's the upper level low and that trough that's gone up over and around us, headed to the upper Midwest. That'll make for some breezy conditions. This is some low cloudiness here in eastern Montana and western areas of the Dakotas on the backside of that system. But you can see all the clear skies elsewhere here across the west. This is Norma, Tropical Storm Norma. I'm, I'm bringing this up. Norma here because we may see a situation where what's left of Norma is drawn up to the north northeast next week. That could be a, a factor in how everything comes together. But elsewhere, a fairly quiet stretch of weather. So there it is in the 500 millibar chart over southwest Minnesota this morning, heading away from us. This high pressure ridge is going to expand and grow, giving fair weather from the west coast into the Intermountain West from today through Sunday. So looking good, not a lot going on. But as I mentioned, windy, especially through morning. These are the wind gusts up through noon today. So across Nebraska, South Dakota, into northeast Colorado here, we have an area of some very brisk northwest winds coming from the northwest to the southeast. But you'll see the winds diminishing as the day wears on as that system pulls away. Elsewhere across the west, look at that west of the divide, barely any wind going on today. And yeah, even though a cold front's coming through, these are our high temperatures today. Not bad for October 18th at all. So really not a lot of cold with this trough. As we get to the weekend, there's this broad area of high pressure overhead. We have a little ripple coming through, mainly to produce some high and mid-level cloudiness, and that's about all. Here's Monday, Tuesday system sliding south and east into the Pacific Northwest and the far west. It's really messy up here, and this is why where confidence is low in the modeling. We've got this cutoff upper level low that's going to actually just drift out into the Gulf of Alaska. This system right here is going to connect with this blue area. That blue area is a lot of real cold air that's building up northwest of Hudson Bay. And it's this system and how it evolves is what is going to be the player with next week's weather. So this low, this is by Sunday morning, starts to affect the Pacific Northwest. And by Monday morning, slips down into central areas in Nevada, and it, it is not a major system, but it is gonna produce some showers. Here's what's left of Norma. 
The upper level winds ahead of it will draw some moisture into the region. So with this system Monday and Tuesday, we could see some areas of rain showers and thunderstorms get developed out ahead of this trough of low pressure here. What's left of Norma may get drawn in and increase the moisture out here, something to watch. Still really messy up here by Monday morning. However, by Wednesday morning, we have a bigger push of cold air. Low tries to get better organized here, and we still have this upper level low that's drifted all the way down into northwest Mexico. Now, I'm very, very low in confidence on the placement of both of these features. And this is where the models really depart. And there's a lot that could happen. This low could actually just stay up along the U.S.-Canadian border and send some colder air in, but not a lot of rain and snow. Or it could merge up with this guy here and become a low more down south. And we know if you get a little more down south, it's going to be more impactful for the region. But both scenarios are on the table, and we don't have a definitive way to really separate things out until we get a little bit closer. But as I told you, the trend is your friend. I tell you that all the time. And the trend is certainly colder, no matter what model you look at. These are the temperature anomalies by next Friday. This could be the biggest release of coldest air of the season coming mid to late next week and towards next weekend. So obviously with that type of cold and low pressure systems coming through, we'll need to keep an eye on things. So stay tuned. In the meantime, enjoy what's going to be some really nice weather through Sunday. See you tomorrow.